Praise be to God. Praise be to God. Lord of the worlds. Praise be to God, who chose the blessed month of Ramadan, the master of the months. He poured goodness and light into it, and Muslims live in it with abundance and love. Glory be to Him. He forgives sins, covers faults, and helps the distressed. He is the knower of the unseen. Praise be to God, He has bestowed upon us fasting in the month of Ramadan, the month of mercy. Forgiveness is the month of repentance, guidance, and the Quran. Its grace has pervaded the universe and bestowed many blessings upon mankind. He accepts repentance and sends down His mercy upon the believers in every time and place. O oh God, send down Your mercy upon our people in Gaza. O oh God, relieve their distress, mend their brokenness, and dig out their weakness. O oh God, their children are starving, so feed them. O oh God, their children are starving, so feed them. O Lord of the worlds, and we bear witness that there is no God but God alone, with no partner. He has enjoined upon us fasting out of piety for the hearts and the refinement of the souls, according to what the Almighty says in Surat al-Baqarah. O you who have believed, fasting is decreed upon you, as it was decreed upon those before you that you may fear. O oh God, put light in our hearts and light in our feet. And there is light in our eyes and there is light in our hands. O oh God, ease our affairs and unite our ranks. O oh God, inject our blood and inject the blood of our brothers in Gaza. And we bear witness that our master, our beloved, our leader, our role model, and our intercessor is Muhammad, the servant of God, his prophet, and his true and trustworthy messenger, the Imam of the prophets and messengers, whom God has forgiven his sins and opened his heart to him. And he removed his burden from him and raised his remembrance of him. So he, peace and blessings be upon him, was glorified, and most of that happened in Ramadan and he was generous. And most of what happened in Ramadan is the saying that whoever fasts Ramadan out of faith and seeking reward, his previous sins will be forgiven. May God's prayers and peace be upon you. O my beloved, O messenger of God, and we in Bait al-Maktis and the enclaves of Bait al-Maktis, we pray upon you and upon your pure and glorified family, upon your honorable and beautiful companions and upon those scholars who follow you and strive against you until the day of judgment. O Muslims, O worshippers, O righteous ones, O those who seek reward, O you who have gone to Al-Aqsa from all parts of dear, holy, and blessed Palestine, to those of you who cross the military checkpoints, I say that your march to the blessed Al-Aqsa for the dawn prayers, your march to the blessed Al-Aqsa for the evening and tarawah prayers, your march to the blessed Al-Aqsa for the Friday and congregational prayers, despite your disabilities, reminds two billion Muslims around the globe of the captive Al-Aqsa and that this faithful march to Al-Aqsa represents a practical faith response and a clear, directed message for those who covet Al-Aqsa, for its aggressors, and for those who seek it and against it. There is no room for bargaining over Al-Aqsa nor for negotiating around it. 
nor for giving up a speck of dust from it. And Al-Aqsa is too prestigious to be subject to international laws or local laws. And it will remain open with God's permission and care. Filled with devout Muslims who seclude themselves in Ramadan and other than Ramadan. So you are the Morabitun. O oh, you stationed people. The difficult equations through which there is no way to break through. O oh, worshippers. O oh, righteous ones. O oh, sons of the land of Israel and the ascension. This is the first Friday of the blessed month of Ramadan. So blessed and congratulated are those who prayed Friday prayers in the blessed Al-Aqsa Mosque in this blessed month. So the praying person will have collected three OBs together. Friday has a virtue. Al-Aqsa has a virtue and fasting has a virtue. So, O oh righteous people, be careful to pray on Friday in the blessed Al-Aqsa Mosque. Accordingly, every Muslim must respond to the call of the Messenger of God, Muhammad. May God bless him and grant him peace to travel to the blessed Al-Aqsa. Whoever is prevented from reaching Al-Aqsa will pray where he is prevented and will receive a reward parallel to the reward for one who prays at Al-Aqsa. And there is a legal fatwa about that, O oh worshippers, O oh righteous ones, Ramadan has come. And the children of Gaza are hungry and compassionate and deprived of medicine and treatment. Ramadan has come. And the families of Gaza are displaced and afflicted. And in humanitarian disasters, Ramadan has come. And the mosques of Gaza are destroyed. And the call of God is great cannot rise to their ears. So what is the position of the government in the country? Arab and Islamic countries. It is a painful and unfortunate age that some of them are silent and reprehensible. and that some of them condemn and deplore. So why this backwardness and this submissiveness? So where is the dignity? Where is the chivalry? And where is the chivalry? It is as if they had not heard the honorable hadiths of the Prophet that relate to betrayal. Your living peoples are expecting a lot from you. O rulers, so do not frustrate them. Do not frustrate them. May God have mercy on the Caliph Al-Abasi Al-Mutasim, the owner of chivalry, dignity, and chivalry. There is no power nor strength except in God, the Most High, the Great. God is sufficient for us, and He is the best disposer of affairs. O oh, you who pray, you who fast, our honorable and most honorable messenger, Muhammad, may God bless him and grant him peace, says, when Ramadan comes, the gates of paradise will be opened, the gates of hell will be closed, and the devils will be chained. In a narration, the devils will be expelled, and the meaning is the same. And the wisdom of this honorable growth hadith is so that the fasting person will have an incentive to turn to God on Almighty. And that the door of repentance will be wide open for those who repent and seek forgiveness. The devil of the jinn has no power over man. Is there anyone who repents so that God may repent to him this month? the beginning of which is mercy, the middle of which is forgiveness, and the end of which is your protection from the fire. Oh, oh God, the glorious throne, 
that you may have mercy on us with your mercy, that you may forgive us our sins, and that you why free us and you from hell? O worshippers, O fasting people! Yes, the demons of the jinn are shaved and bound in the blessed month of Ramadan, but beware of the human demons who spread corruption on earth, shed blood, and spread obscenity among the innocent. Beware also of the land brokers who steal. Houses all of these are the devils of mankind, for whom there is no repentance, and their sin is doubled in the blessed month of Ramadan. O worshippers, O fasting people, choose the first section of this sermon with an honorable prophetic hadith related to faith. Listen to it carefully. Save, may God protect you. Save, may God find it before you. If you ask, then ask God, and if you seek help, seek help from God, and know that nation if they gathered together to benefit you with something, they would not benefit you except with something that God had written for you, and if they gathered to harm you with anything, they would not harm you except with something that God had written. أتناول في هذه الخطبة ثلاث رسائل وبإيجاز الرسالة الأولى موجهة إلى الأغنياء والمقتدرين ماليا وإلى الذين يملكون نصاب الزكاة فإنه يتوجب عليكم إخراج زكاة أموالكم على اعتبار أن الزكاة هي ركن من أركان الإسلام وأن الزكاة في الوقت نفسه هي حق للفقراء والمساكين والمحتاجين والمنكوبين والمشردين والمحرومين فيقول سبحانه وتعالى في سورة الذاريات وفي أموالهم حق للسائل والمحروم ويقول عز وجل في سورة المعارج والذين في أموالهم حق معلوم للسائل والمحروم أيها المصلون أيها الصائمون الرسالة الثانية بشأن العنف في المدارس نعم العنف في المدارس وهي ظاهرة خطيرة لما لها من تداعيات سلبية على التعليم وعلى المجتمع فقد أخذت تنتشر في مدارس القدس أيضا مما يؤدي إلى الفوضى وعدم استقرار التعليم وإضعاف هيبة المعلم كما انتقل هذا العنف إلى العائلات وتوسعت رقعته في المجتمع وكان الأجدر وكان الأجدر بأولياء أمور الطلاب والطالبات أن يعالجوا هذه الظاهرة بالحكمة وسعة الصدر والتسامح وليس بالعنف المضاد وليس بالعنف المضاد وذلك بالتعاون مع إدارات المدارس والهيئات التربوية والتدريسية كما يتوجب على الآباء وعلى الأمهات على أولياء أمور الطلاب والطالبات أن يحترموا إدارات المدارس وأن يحافظوا على هيبة المعلمين والمعلمات 
حتى تنجح العملية التربوية والتعليمية وأن يحافظ الجميع على مستوى التعليم في بلادنا اللهم هل بلغت اللهم فاشهد أيها المصلون أيها الصائمون الرسالة الثالثة والأخيرة بشأن المسجد الأقصى المبارك الذي وضعه الاحتلال في أجواء الحرب فاتخذ إجراءات مشددة في الأشهر الماضية ونحن الآن في شهر رمضان المبارك شهر العبادة شهر القرآن الكريم فإنه من حق كل مسلم أن يصلي في المسجد الأقصى المبارك وذلك التزاما بنداء رسولنا الكريم الأكرم محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم الذي طالب المسلمين كافة في كل زمان ومكان بشد الرحال إلى الأقصى المبارك ونحن نطالب بإدخال طاقم الإسعاف والهلال الأحمر لأن هناك من المرضى من يحتاج إلى الإسعاف ولا يسعنا إلا أن نقول حماك الله يا أقصى قولوا آمين أيها المصلون أيها الصائمون الساعة ساعة استجابة فأمنوا من بعدي اللهم تقبل صلاتنا وقيامنا وصيامنا وصالح أعمالنا اللهم آمنا في أوطاننا وفرج الكرب عنا اللهم هيئ من يوحد المسلمين ويحذر حذو صلاح الدين اللهم ارحم شهداءنا وشهداء غزة وشهداء المسلمين جميعا اللهم شافي جرحاهم وشرح وشرح وجرح المسلمين جميعا اللهم أصلح صراحنا وأسر المسلمين جميعا اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من الهم والحزن ونعوذ بك من العجز والكسل ونعوذ بك من غلبة الدين وقهر الرجال اللهم اجعل البيت الأبيض بالسواد يا رب العالمين اللهم إنا نسألك توبة نصوحا توبة قبل الممات وراحة عند الممات ورحمة ومغفرة بعد الممات اللهم انصر الإسلام والمسلمين وأعل بفضلك كلمة الحق والدين اللهم اغفر للمؤمنين والمؤمنات الأحياء منهم والأموات وأقم الصلاة إن صلاتنا على الفحشاء والمنكر ولا ذكر الله أكبر والله يعلم ما تصنعون